In this video, we're talking about continuously compounded interest, which is just an application of the exponential growth equation that we've been using. So in this particular problem, we've been told that your great-great-great-grandfather owed a 30-cent fine 100 years ago on an overdue library book, and you just found it. And we've been asked to figure out how much is owed today if the fine grows exponentially at 5% annual interest rate and the interest is compounded continuously. So the key here is this compounded continuously part of the question, because when interest is compounded continuously, we use this formula here, future value is equal to present value times e to the rt. e is the exponential function, r is going to be our annual interest rate, and t is going to be time in years. Present value and future value we can also think of as initial value or initial amount, and then the future amount or the amount after time t. So we just need to plug the values that we've been given into this formula and then solve for the amount that we owe. So what we've been told is that our great-great-great-grandfather owed a 30-cent fine. So that's going to be the present value or the initial value of the fine. So we want to plug 30 cents in for PV. So we'll go ahead and say 0 0.30 for PV. Then we're going to have the number E here. 100 years ago, so that's going to be time t, so we're going to have r times 100 for time t, and then our interest rate is 5% annually, and what we need to make sure is that our time and our rate match up in units. We've been given 100 years, and we've been told 5% annually, so those match because they're both in terms of years. If you're given, for example, months here instead of years, you would need to convert the months into years if you're going to use an annual interest rate. So here we've been told 5% annually, so we can say 0 0.05 is going to be the rate. Compounded continuously means this number E here. And then how much do you owe today, which is how much do you owe after time T? That's going to be future value. So future value, FB, is the value that we need to solve for. So all we have to do is multiply 0 0.05 by 100. That's going to give us 0 0.30E to the 5. And then if we use our calculators to calculate e to the fifth and then multiply it by 0.3, what we get is a future value of $44.52. So this is the amount that we would owe today if we started with a 30 cent fine 100 years ago and that amount of 30 cents grew at an annual interest rate of 5% compounded continuously. 100 years later, today, we would owe $44.52.